Okay, so, anyway, this is Dr. Janes, and uh, I was thinking about doing some experiments with thermite, and, uh, well, I wanted to make some powdered aluminum. Aluminum has a huge amount of energy stored up in it. It is, uh, is an energy powerhouse, and it is the uh, energy source for the thermite reaction. And here is a uh, rock tumbler, and someone on the Internet said that they were using a rock tumbler to create powdered aluminum. And so I went down to Harbor Freight and picked up a Chicago Electric, that is Chicago, China, because all this stuff that they have at Harbor Freight is made in China. It's really cheap, but sometimes it's okay to use. And uh, this is a rock tumbler. And here's the unboxing of it. Ooh, what is this? some kind of manual. There we go, we got the manual there. And it looks like this is our rock tumbler right there. And so let's take a look at this. It's all wrapped up in plastic, and there we go. Here's our rock tumbler. We'll take a look at that. Looks like it's got an on-off switch over here, and Chicago Electric, three-pound rotor. I don't think I'm going to put that much in it, but... Who knows? Let's see if we can open this guy up and what the inside of it looks like. Oh, come on. Oh my god, come on. Anyway, let's see what's in here. Is that power cord? Okay, the power cord's coiled up all under there. And here's some roller shafts that the roller's going to roll upon. We'll pull out our power cord. And what is this? Oh, looks like some kind of belts. May have to read the manual. Rover belts or something. Oops. My God. I don't know. I have to fiddle with this for a second. Huh? Okay. So I got a screwdriver. It looks like uh, if I go around the edge, it is really hard to get this thing off. Okay, that comes off. It looks like some kind of uh, metal ceiling. Some gasket here. Okay. Uh. Okay, so it looks like we've got this first plate off. There's a metal plate in there and some other ring that should come out possibly. It's not clear whether that other rubber thing is included in there. I'm going to have to fiddle with this some and see if I can get this thing apart. Okay. Okay, I guess after you get that other plate off, you can... This metal thing pulls out like that, and it's got a O-ring. It pulls out real hard. I just grab onto this screw, and it looks like uh, it's kind of all rubbery inside, and that's interesting. Well, let's uh, put it together, I guess, and just test it to make sure the motor works and everything. And then maybe we'll try to start a batch of aluminum. Okay. Okay, we found a nice little place to set it up. Over an unused chair in the corner over here. And so here's our roller container, and it fits down. The tumbler container, it fits on those rollers. And here's an on and off switch here. 
turn that on and get it rolling. Okay. So maybe we should uh, turn it off and load our material into there. Let's see if we can start our project. Okay, okay an internet, uh, our article on the internet said that if you take a bunch of steel ball bearings and stick it in with some aluminum foil, right? Here's aluminum foil. Let's see. And you put it inside of. Let's get this guy out of here. Come on out. There's some aluminum foil. And I'm probably going to tear it up into small pieces. And, uh,. They said that these, uh, well, they, they're using steel ball bearings, but I have these glass ones. Glass are really hard, all right, glass balls that I got from Michaels, and uh, they should be chemically inert, so they shouldn't interact with the aluminum foil, and hopefully that will grind up the aluminum foil into a powder. Here's our drum again. Take that guy apart. Here, get the center piece out. That really plugs it up good, doesn't it? Wow. Okay. Well, let's dump some of our glass beads in there. There we go, we got a whole bunch of glass beads in there. And take this a little bit of foil, break it up to a bunch of strips. Keep on sticking this in there. I'm not sure how much you need of each for it to work okay. This is going to be a test. It's starting to get kind of full in there. So maybe you got the aluminum foil and the, the beads in there. Maybe I'll stick a little bit more in. What the heck. Get them all mixed up. Okay, and we'll try running this for a while and see if that works or not. See if uh get the top back on this guy. Okay. There's that. And the metal plate that goes over the top here like that. And then we have a clamping screw and a, a nut thing goes into place. Okay. And let's just uh, let that thing run for a while. Oh. Let's see how it goes. Okay, our uh, tumbler's been going for, what, three or four days now, and I uh, was curious how it's doing, so let's take this thing apart, see what's going on on the inside. Apart a little bit. <clears throat> I'm afraid I don't want stuff to fly all over the place though. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, I guess that's your answer. Looks like the whole inside is coated with powdered aluminum. So 
so it definitely definitely powderized the aluminum using the, the glass beads. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's all shiny in there now. Wow. <coughs> Looks like there's still some bigger chunks, but it's really powderized it. Okay, so this method actually does work. Maybe I'll just keep on putting more aluminum foil in there and just let it churn away at that. And, uh, and uh, looks like it would probably be easy to separate it from the glass beads. So I don't think it's sticking to the glass beads. It looked like it stuck to the sides of the container and completely coated it. So anyway, very interesting. Looks like we're going to be in the business of making powdered aluminum. Anyway, this is Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.